I read a post recently in which the poster said that they'd read a UK National Audit Office report that contained some fairly routine and obvious project management lessons. The poster suggested that when we summarise our experience, we risk coming up with the kind of routine and obvious lessons that could be found in any entry-level textbook on project management, and that instead we should use advanced analytics to identify the factors that influence project success. Some of the comments on the post suggested that the fact that obvious lessons come up time and again means that trying to learn lessons from experience is broken. I think there's a lot to be learned from standing back and looking at the world with your eyes slightly screwed up and thinking to yourself, how could what we have learned here be applied to projects in general? But take the abstraction too far and you end up with platitudes and truisms like don't plan too far ahead too rigidly or don't forget to train users how to use a new IT system. Some of that stuff is so obvious that it's a wonder that it could ever be missed. I agree that advanced analytics could be put to good use in finding the factors that lead to failure. In fact, I've spent considerable time and effort learning the basics. However, the fact that obvious entry-level lessons come up again and again doesn't tell me that learning lessons is broken and that we need to hand the whole project management discipline over to the bots. To me, that sounds like trying to perfect your tumble turns when you can only just about swim a width of the pool without drowning. I think that the fact that obvious entry-level lessons come up again and again suggests that as well as making use of advanced analytics, we need a renewed focus on getting the project management basics right. Project management basics can suffer when someone who is a subject matter expert in the operational aspects of a business is appointed to direct a project or a programme. Their business knowledge is fantastic, but they can find themselves out of their depth when it comes to the project management side. People like that could find it useful to have a reminder of what can happen if you do skimp on things. That's why I created my Scary Scars shared interview series. They might also find it helpful to have solid, reliable support to take care of the project management basics that helps them to answer these key questions. When and what will the project deliver? How much will it cost? Is it still on track? And is it still worth it? If you can answer those questions about your project, then you're on a winning path. Put that together with advanced analytics to identify parameters that affect outcomes and you have a recipe for success. Have we been neglecting project management basics? How do you think we could improve things? Let me know in the comments. Could you benefit from hearing the cautionary tale or two? Then why not go and take a look or a listen to my Scary Scars shared interview series and follow, subscribe or connect for more Pragmatic PMO videos.